that intro is old school. Uh, no time for a real one. This is like really long and stuff. Against Infusion Z from Equinox. Don't know if he's still alive, but uh, we'll find out in due time. So he's not comfortable staying in with Metagross, as I figured. So I set up South Rock and fairly simple start right there. And then I expect an Earthquake, so I go to Intimidate the uh, Mence. But he just dances right off the bat, which that's not what I would do, but I guess that's his style. So, early yep, it, it does. I agree with that completely. So I go to Shaman to take the neutral Dragon Claw. And it didn't even do a whole lot anyway, so that thing's probably a bit bulky. And um, I might as well seed up something. Goes to the Metagross. Something I have no problem staying with Shaman because as far as I'm concerned, I can take it. But I decide to switch out anyways, and he switches right back out into a Sceptile, so predicting whatever grass move. But, um, yeah, I know those things pack Focus Blast, but I knew that switch to Ments was too obvious, and he Dragon Pulses, so it was good I stayed in, and Umbreon can just eat that shit anyways. And, uh, I got up a Wish, and I Baton Pass to get the switch advantage, because he's locked in on Dragon Pulse, he's not going to do fuck all. And then I got a 2 HP healing with Wish, so that's awesome. And I know for a fact that Shaman can take Electivires, whether they're Bandit or whatnot. Unless they crit you, Steve. Yeah, I know. Uh, and so, like, my Seed Flare did more to it than its Ice Punch did to me. That's just hilarious. And I should have Leech Seeded, probably. But I rectify that. But he goes to the Sceptile to take... The Seed Flare still would have done, like, a quarter anyway, so that's what's cool. So he Focus Blast, predicting Umbreon, but I just rest up because if it hit me, I know it wouldn't kill me, and I see what he locks himself into, and I can just natural cure out. It's a win-win situation, guys. So I go to Jeff Vader, and he uh, intimidates the Electivire, and um, because it's intimidated, I don't feel like going back to Shaman, and he predicted that, but it wouldn't have done anything anyways. But Umbreon can just take it extra beastily. Beastily. Bestiality. That's wrong. Don't even go there. And um, I know he's going to sw switch, so I might as well get a wish up. And uh, let's see how this, where this goes from here. And then I switch to Heatran to take a Meteor Mash, but yeah, I guess he predicted that one right, and he earthquaked me. And that's why I put a Shuckaberry on this Heatran now, because one prediction, get an earthquake. I, to I totally even thought he forgot about Heatran. I can't believe he predicted that. That was a good move on his part. Very impressive. And um, I... Know that uh, Earthquake is obvious here, but I know any Metagross could live in Earthquake. So I just think maybe he'll go, maybe he'll stay in to try and finish me off with EQ, knowing that he can live one. But no, he just switches right out. And then um, I guess he's testing if I'm banded. I don't know what the hell that was. He fodders the Evire, scouts my move. I don't know. Just whatever. Electivire's dead. You got an Intimidate on me. That's what that is. Goes back to the Sceptile, and uh, don't want to take anything it's got. Maybe a Leaf Storm. Oh, he Focus Blast predicting Umbreon, but uh, that's the beauty of that. He can't really predict which one of my walls is coming in, and I'm liking that. Uh, he's going to stay locked in on Focus Blast. I can't believe he's not missing. Oh, but he gets a Special Defense drop. There we go. Fuck my life. And I predicted his switch to something, which is like, God, you're a retard. JC, get the fuck right. Get the fuck right. Damn Canadian, man. Yep. Oh, you're still here. Jesus, I forgot. And then because of that goddamn special defense drop, I'm thinking, well, Ice Beam's probably going to kill me. And then I go to Jeff Vader to bluff it to get, try and get it out of him, but he just calm minds. So now I'm thinking, well, does he even have Ice Beam? Maybe he's trying to psych me out. He's getting into the mind game part here. Okay, so, uh, I wish up with Umbreon, and, yeah... Fuck it, yes, that was fail. So I basically just switched around everything for no... Oh, no, 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 I went to Umbreon. That's what I did, and he roared me to for Alligator. I missed that. And then I ended up getting the Wish on Shaman, which is what I wanted. So that's awesome. And the fact that he keeps Calm Mining is telling me that he doesn't have Surf. If he's got if he's got Roar, Calm Mind, he does not... He only has Surf. He's got Rest on that thing. And he knows he can't stay in for Elite Seed. So I'm just going to hit it with Seed Flares, despite all the Calm Minds, because he, he can't touch me. And at this point, the Seed Flare is still going to do a fuckload to that Sceptile. 
And I rest just to see what it's going to lock himself into because I could just switch out and wake up again, so that's what's awesome. And then uh, he goes to the Mens, takes Stealth Rock, and I'm thinking, all right, Mens is getting down there. That's pro. And uh, the Intimidate landed on Shaman, so that's even more pro. And um, I know if I get up Curses with Umbreon, I will win this battle against Mens because I'm boosting attack and defense, and he's only boosting attack. So his defense will eventually just, yeah. And he roosts, so I'm like, well, that, that can be troublesome later. And, uh, what do I do? Yeah, I know he's going to roar me out, but I just decide to get a wish up because he's going to roar me. Something will get healed up, and I might as well hit that coon with a payback just to get it down there with a curse. Does fuck all, but it's, it's whatever. So, uh, Jeff Vader comes out, and, uh, wish, nothing, whatever. Now that coon is pretty low, so I'm thinking the meteor can take it out, and this is where Mix Mens is just total awesomeness right here. Just rapes that sweet coon. Fuck, I hate sweet coon. He's such a bitch. And um this Jeff Vader does not have EQ. It has brick break. Fail. Eh, shut up. Uh so and then there's Metagross Agilities. I'm like, what lead agility Metagross? Get the fuck out of here. And uh, most likely life orbed. So, yeah, I just wanted to see what he was going to do, and I just baton pass out of there, get some more life orb damage. Um, here we have Shane I brought in. What the fuck did I do? I took the mash quite well. I hit it with a seed flare, like I'm a retard, because I should have leech seeded it. I don't know why the fuck I didn't. I'm an idiot, yeah. So now I know I can live another mash, because Shane is just that goddamn beastly. And uh, I need to rest up because I want to keep my Shaman, and that's more Life Orb Recoil on him. So, I win. And I know another Mash will kill him, but he Agilities when I switched out, which is odd. And that made me feel so much better because, because Pro, because, because, because Pro got to Aqua Jet it. Got to Aqua, yes. Mm, shut up. Shut up. Brings in Sceptile. Take Stealth Rock. I have Aqua Jet because Pro. Yes. Then he goes to a Latias. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's got a Latias. Ugh, bane of my motherfucking existence. And I want to just scout out what kind it is. I know uh, because Pro won't be able to do anything because fail in this scenario. But um, yeah, he's most likely Specs at that point. And, um, yeah, even at the minus one, because specs is plus one, so if you can do math, you can figure out what the hell I meant by that. Shaman, uh, is able to survive it quite handily. Get up a leech seed, and, uh, just sla slowly sap it, get some health back, and all that good stuff. And then, uh, I know he's gonna switch here. I think I, I, yeah, I know. Do I know? We'll see in a second. Take Stealth Rocks. Mints. Yes, I do, because pro. So I leech it again, knowing he's got to switch because his meteors are fail at this point. And this is like the key, most important part of the match. I know that with Seed Flare and he's got Roost, he can dance up all he wants, so I have to do this now. I go into my Mints, and I still have that Life Orb recoil from before, and he danced, and that was perfect. And this is where getting Leech Seed on that Mints is so key. You can see I had 298, so that's about 33 HP that was gone, which is my Life Orb recoil. Leech Seed gave me back that HP, and the Intimidate cancelled out his attack boost on the dance. So he's at neutral attack, and I was at full HP, and I live at 17, and I'm able to kill that Ment with Draco Meteor, because I knew it was physically bulky, and I didn't think Dragon Claw would do it. But right there, if the Leech Seed wasn't there, and if I didn't switch in Ments at that point, and he didn't dance, I probably would have lost this match. So that was the biggest play of the game, and thank God it worked. I was on the edge of my seat, quite literally. I was. You don't believe me? No, I don't know. Okay. And see, he knows I have Sucker Punch, so he's just going to spam Trick on me for like four turns. And I could have Mega Horned, but I was just lazy. And I was just like, dude, you've lost. Fucking attack me already. But he's just spamming Trick. And I'm like, you know what? You're a douche if you don't end this right now. And uh, he finally decides to attack me after I don't have my life orb. And because of that, he's able to live. And uh, he meteors me. But regardless, 
whatever I have is going to come in and kill it now. So, uh, good game. Enough with the douchebaggery at the end of the match. Aside that, it was an amazing match. Um, hope you guys rate, comment, subscribe. Keep watching the vids. I was away um, doing questionable acts of legality this weekend. That's why nothing was uploaded. But be more active this week, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Steve.